WBZ is the only local TV station with a doctor on staff. She joins us live now. Dr. Malika is here. She's been answering all your coronavirus questions. And, Doctor, we have a few more today, starting with one from Marie, who writes, I know many people with the virus who still tested positive weeks later. So why now are we telling people they need a negative test to come out of isolation after five days? Yeah, this is a point of confusion for a lot of people. So you're right. The PCR test, which is done in the lab, can remain positive for weeks, sometimes months, after someone gets infected. So you don't need a PCR test to tell you that you can come out of isolation or go back to work. The rapid antigen test, however, does tend to turn negative as you become less con contagious. So if you test positive and then you test positive again on an antigen test, then it means that you need to stay in isolation and you're probably still contagious. If, however, after five days you test negative on an antigen test, the CDC says you can come out of isolation as long as you continue to wear a mask around other people for at least five days because you're less likely to be contagious. That's right, and that's why you want those antigen masks around if you can get the tests, <laughs> if you can buy them anywhere. Uh, doctor, right. this is an anonymous viewer who wants to know, is the booster really necessary? So yeah, it is necessary. And in fact, many experts say that you really should think about those mRNA vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, as being a three-dose series rather than a two-dose series plus a booster. Because studies have shown that those initial doses were pretty protective against prior variants, but less so against newer variants, including the Omicron variant. So if you get a booster, you're sort of increasing that shield against serious illness and hospitalization. So please get your boosters. So we've talked a lot about masks this week, but this is one I hadn't heard about. Martha wants to know, how effective are cloth masks with a PM 2.5 filter? <laughs> so Certainly a cloth mask with a filter is going to be better than a cloth mask alone. But we're really encouraging people to sort of ditch the cloth masks and instead opt for an N95 or a KN95, which is probably going to provide better filtration and certainly a better fit on the face to protect you against this very contagious Omicron variant. Okay, and our final question comes from Linda, doctor, and she writes, my three-year-old grandson had COVID, and just as he was about to emerge from quarantine, his seven-month-old sister tested positive. I was going to take my grandson during the day to help his parents, but should I worry about taking one while the other is still positive? <laughs> That's a good question. So if your grandson, if it's been 10 days since he tested positive or developed symptoms, he's probably no longer contagious and he's probably built up some immunity, so he's unlikely to get infected again at least for a number of months. So you should be safe taking care of him. I would, however, avoid close contact with his sister until she fully comes out of isolation after 10 days or so. All right. We wish Linda the best and Dr. Malcolm Marshall, as always. Thanks.